PLC Network here at CES 2018, and we're standing in front of the Samsung booth where we got something exciting going on behind me. What you might find normally to be a LED wall set as a background or at least a, a presentation for a booth as big as Samsung, is there's actually a little bit more to it. It's not an LED wall, at least not what you're expecting. This is actually something that's a little bit more for everybody, and we're going to go inside right now, and we're going to talk to Kristen, and we're going to find out what it is. So we're standing here with Kristen Jump at the Samsung booth, and we're standing in front of something that's pretty much exactly what we were looking at before. This is a smaller version of it. What, are we, what do we have behind us here? So we have the wall. It's a micro LED TV, and this is the first technology of its kind that we've launched in a decade. So this is actually a TV. It is. It's a TV. And the cool thing about it is it's for consumers, too. So they can actually make the TV whatever size they want without losing any picture quality by buying these pack packet of pixels basically yeah and it's, it's customizable to any shape they come in little square panels exactly and so you can make it as big as you want or you can just kind of make it look like a minecraft project going across your <laughs> living room wall if you exactly. wanted to exactly and the so cool, cool and the cool thing is let's say you move and you have a bigger house or a bigger wall you could add more pa packet of those pixels to make yourself a bigger tv so there's no limitation that's fantastic and right now there's no msrp there's no release date or anything right now this no. is just an announcement so it's going to be a little bit before we can actually get our hands on something like this but you can bet when that time comes we'll have more to offer at least uh to cover on it. So there's something else though you want to show us. Yeah, we got to definitely check out the car. Okay, we're going to the car. All right. So 5G uh, is new technology coming out, it's supposed to be around 100 times faster than 4G. Yeah, and we got something special behind us uh, when it comes to that. What, what do we have here? So what we're showcasing is what 5G can do for our customers inside the cockpit of their vehicle. So it's a whole new way to stay connected while you're in the car. Okay. Let me tell you a little bit more. So for example, not only do you have all that great connectivity for entertainment purposes, like VR, just right inside your vehicle, but it also can connect with the new infrastructure to traffic lights, to other vehicles. So it brings that network beyond just your own car. So everything's communicating with everything, pretty much. Exactly. It's a Borg collective of a system. Exactly. So can it warn you if there's an officer hiding around the corner as you're driving down the road, kind of like a radar detector? <laughs> like, warnings is a speed trap right there. I don't know if they're going to allow that, That's but it would definitely be not. possible. But cool. I'm sure they'll find ways of doing it, but it might be aftermarket. But. So this is cool. And this yeah. is something we have to look forward to in the near future. Not near yeah. near future, but something that will be rolling out eventually, uh, maybe late this year, next year, yeah. as technology starts to trickle onto the market with 5G. Yeah, so the great thing about the show this year in our booth is that we're really showcasing the things that are coming in the future. You don't see a lot of products that are already out. Correct. So, so 5G is launching right now in the Sacramento market with Verizon Wireless. So they're going to be the first ones to roll it out. Coming trickling down, then we're going to see how the automotive industry starts adapting that to our consumers. Perfect. So it's not available yet, obviously. 5G is still getting its feet wet, but it might be soon. So it's just a little bit of patience before we can get our hands on it, but it's something to look forward to. Exactly. So definitely. So check us out at plcnetwork.net. Of course, we'll have more on this as it develops, you know, as it kind of rolls out into the network, or excuse me, out onto the market. And of course, check out Samsung's website at samsung.com. Keep it, you know, keep tabs on them because they got all sorts of great stuff, just like you see here, available for you to see right on their website. If you want to stay on top of all the latest and greatest and or at least the gadgets we cover, remember to subscribe right here. Subscription button. Click it. You're going to want to. There's lots of videos, interviews, previews, all sorts of stuff. Button. Click it.